Well, hey, YouTube. I'm really nerding out here. A while back for my birthday, I got this pellet gauge, which you can measure head size with. This is all .177 caliber. So I've been sorting this tin of uh, H&N Field Target Trophy, and do they say 4.5? two that's not really what i was finding i found a lot of 4.55s and 4.54s so then what i did is i have this little scale, scale that i bought off amazon and i think it was around 20 dollars or something and after i got my head size sorted and then i these these were the main head sizes and the rest i just kind of threw into this old tin or this old crossman box over here then you go through and you measure you, your weight and it kind of fluctuates there sometimes depending so make sure your table's not wiggly like I'm not touching my bench here so 8.68 generally they don't take that long to uh, to weigh out but what I found in general is these H&N field target trophies are really consistent pellet and this kind of shows a good spread um, I did I wasn't finding many many 8.66s, but you can see how they shake out and uh, most of them are 8.72. So what we're gonna do, I've been shooting my uh, Dragonfly Mark I, and we're gonna shoot a group with sorted head size and weight of the 8.72. And then, heck, I'll just take a few from either end, shoot a five shot group with same head size, but different weights and see see what happens and see if this is really worth the effort to do because it's pretty time consuming i wouldn't want to do a lot of it because you just start getting tired of the whole thing and your neck starts hurting but the uh i'm curious to see if it's worth the effort so here we go well, okay guys i'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen here i think the other day or maybe it was last night i don't remember i did clean the barrel in this uh dragonfly mark one and you know I didn't really see anything that was out of the ordinary. Um, so again, we're using H&N Field Target Trophy. We're starting off with the mixed group of uh, pellets. These are five or a 4.54 head size. The weights range from 8.64 through 8.78, and. Uh, I just kind of threw them all. I did throw them all in this little tin, little bin. So let's see how it does. Then, um, then we'll do uh, the actual head size. The well, same head size, but the weights are sorted. Okay, so the targets at twenty yards, six pumps. Here we go. Looks like it's maybe down around seven o'clock, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what'll happen here. The reason I got excited to try this video was I shot a group, well, I've shot a couple groups with this gun that were just, I mean, they're under a dime, so, but then the groups completely went away, and I thought, well, why don't I try this stuff I have and see if I can get more consistency out of it. Because I quite like this gun. 
is the last shot here. Actually, I really like this gun. And um, I did do a 50 yard can bottom challenge with it and got 100%. So, yeah, it's a, it does well. Huh. That doesn't look so great. But let's, uh... Now, this is the part I'm more excited about. So these have been all 4.54 head size, and they're all the same weight. And in, let's make sure, yeah, not holding any air. Um, the field target trophies have worked pretty good in this gun. So I'm curious if this will make any difference at all. I think it would. My wind is, you know, I've got occasional light breeze, but I don't think it's enough to affect anything. I'm using a Tasco 4x32 scope. It has an adjustable objective. I really like this little scope. felt like I moved at the very the very very last split second of that shot but it could be my imagination tell with poor power and I'm not I'll use my spotting scope to look kind of just want this video to go a little quickly you know my buddy Peter in the Netherlands talked about pneumatics and how that impact of the pump handle can affect uh, scope zero so I need to write them write them back Um, he has got a lot of insight and knowledge on air guns and I was wanting to wanting to correspond with him a bit more about it because I really like pneumatic guns. All right, this will be our final shot. Well, it looks like they kind of stacked vertically. Um, not as good as a group as I'd seen before. I'm kind of bummed. Let's uh, let's just for the for fun here. Let's uh, got just the tin and uh, let's just see what happens. How you normally shoot, you don't go through all the effort of sorting them and all that stuff. Um, I don't know. I'm curious. Does any of that stuff actually make a difference? Maybe um, on the target gun it does, and maybe this isn't close enough tolerances to make a, a difference. Just shoot five quickly. <laughs> as quick as I can anyway with the pump. And maybe I'll edit this video um, to make it go faster. I don't know. Ten. 
Temperature, it's uh, 68 degrees. I'm surprised the bugs are not here. It's why I'm wearing a hoodie because definitely it doesn't. I don't need it for temperature, but I thought the bugs might be swarming. I had to have my hood up. What's that? Two. Let me put these in the, t the lid. I lose track. It's hard to hard to keep track. Talking and pump keeping your pump number and then how many pellets you shoot. And maybe there's, I have to keep maybe doing some pellet testing. It looks like down there these aren't doing so hot. I was, I saw some really great groups with super mags, but then they went away again. So I cleaned the barrel and so when I went down this whole road, I was hoping to... Wow, I was really hoping that it would tighten everything up. And I did check for... Uh, I, I did check to make sure it wasn't having parallax, because I do have the adjustable objective on it. And I don't have, it's not parallax. So, all right, let me grab the target and we'll take a look. All right, so this was just the mixed assortment right out of the tin. And it would almost seem like velocity, maybe. Well, there, I don't know. You guys can leave comments below what you think. This was the mixed weights with the same head size. There's a quarter, and I didn't even get a quarter, which is not good. And then I did get a dime. So I did get a dime, but um, I've had, I was looking for another target I had, and I, I guess I threw it out. I had a group that was tighter than a dime, and I was super duper impressed. And I was wanting to see if uh, all the sorting would give me that consistency. So it looks, it appears that sorting your pellets is worth the time and effort. Uh, to make it shoot consistently. So I don't feel like I wasted my time. I think it's a neat experiment. Um, but I was hoping was hoping for it to do, wouldn't have had that. I was hoping for them all to be touching. So anyway, guys, um, hope you found that useful. I, I, think it's, I think it's interesting to do, and uh, I like to try things out and, and see where they lead me. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all for now, and... Thanks for watching.